They bring the boom. Every day, 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 day. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 218. <laughs> it's 218. Should I say it? Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card, but you'll find out anyway. Ah! Anyone else fucking sick of AJ and Big Justice? Dude, I'm sick of them. I've been sick of them right off the bat, dude. The second I heard that big boy say double chunk chocolate cookie, I was like, this is annoying already. Enough. We bring the boom. That's what we do. We bring the boom. We bring the boom to you. We bring the boom. We bring the boom. It's a fucking banger, I gotta admit, though. And I like the way AJ dances. Take a look. AJ has the best dance. Big Justice got some fucking monster titties on him. Take a look. We bring the boom. Tits. We bring the boom to you. We bring the boom. But look at AJ's dance. It's we clean. That's a clean dance. We... His mom's trying too hard. His mo The mother is trying too hard to dance. Look at that. Try she's trying way too hard. We'll Who's this guy? Is this a, another brother? I mean, they're just obsessed with double chunk chocolate cookies and chicken bakes. Every single fucking video that they're in, it doesn't matter who's featuring them, it's the double chunk chocolate cookie. Or the chicken bake. I got a chicken bake. Mm, I give it a boom. I've had enough of them, guy. And they're everywhere. They won't leave me alone. I see them everywhere. Welcome to our house. All right, we're here at the food court at Costco. Where you get a double chunk chocolate cookie. Hey, how good do you feel being in here, like, honestly? You feel like... This is my house. Yeah, this no, is this is like MSG. <laughs> <laughs> this is my house. <laughs> This is a yeah. home court advantage. Garden, <laughs> this is a home court advantage. <laughs> it's a chicken bake. We're, we're Costco guys. Of course we go shopping while eating a chicken bake. Costco guys, of course we gotta try the new double chunk chocolate cookie. The double chunk chocolate cookie gets five big booms. Boom! 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 Ba -ba 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 boom! He is dead behind those eyes, dude. Dead. There's no way a guy with that kind of attitude doesn't have some emotional background, you know? He's fucking feeling it. It's Big Justice. AJ. Steve will do it. Steiny. And we're ranking Steiny. my new Rolex on the boom meter. I give okay. it five. Boom. 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 Wow. A Rolex. Did Steve buy that for you? I feel like he would, cause that uh, Steve. What a, Steve just does that, man. He goes around, you meet him, and he's like, "Hey, let me buy you the most expensive thing I can fucking offer you. You want a Lamborghini, huh? You want a Lamborghini? I'll give you a Lamborghini. You want a Rolex? Would you rather a double chunk chocolate cookie or a Rolex? He gets you a Rolex, okay?" And you got to ask yourself, at what point is it still considered genuine? Is he friends with these people? Is he actually friends? Huh? Or is he just buying everybody gifts just to make himself feel good? I'm on to you, Steve. I ain't fucking scared of you either. You think you got muscles? I ain't scared of muscles, dude. Look. Look at this. He's buying more Rolexes. No. How are you? We're having such a good workout. For having Being such a good buddy. workout. You know what's crazy? I just ran into him and I was like, you need a watch, bro. 
This is gonna be a citizen here. There's no way. Nah, it's you. No one's ever given me something like. What else has he got there? <laughs> no way, Steve. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so Good guy. Look at this, motherfuckers. Look at what Steve just. I'm shaking, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's a Rolex. Oh my god, Steve. Oh, thank you. I did such a good workout. You know what? It's fine. No, you know what? Steve's a good guy. Forget everything I just said. Steve's a good guy. We love Steve. Seriously, I love him. For real. He's a good guy. I have nothing bad to say about Steve. Steve is amazing, and he loves his double chunk chocolate cookies. His double chunk. Steve brings the boom. That's what he got. He brings the boom. Seriously, no, I actually do like Steve. Like, in all seriousness, Steve's a great guy, okay? I'm just saying he buys a lot of gifts. I'm just saying. All right? And I get it. He's a friendly guy. He's a good guy. You know, he likes giving gifts. He likes buying, he likes buying stuff. Lamborghinis. You know? First 10,000. You, you're not doing these 10 fucking grand. This guy's been my guy. First 10,000. Dude, shut the fuck up. Dude, this, guy, this guy's a hard worker and he's what you call head of the nerd. Like why though? Why? Why does he do it so often to so many people? Just he, the second he meets someone, he's like, I'm going to buy you the most expensive thing I can do or I'm just going to give you 10 grand. He just gave that guy 10 grand, Steve. What are you doing, Steve? Uh, if you do it too much, it makes people think, what's he hiding? Is he trying to make up for something bad that he did? And I don't, I shouldn't talk like that. It's not good to talk like that. Don't ever talk like that about people, okay? You don't ever make assumptions. Never, ever, for never, blah, blah. Seriously. All I'm saying is, it's a lot of gifts. All I'm saying is it's a lot of gifts, Steve. You know? You would think that maybe you would reserve the gifts for people who you get to know maybe on a more long-term basis, maybe maybe a girlfriend, maybe a... Yeah, remember that picture that we took? Yes. So I sold that t-shirt of us okay. and made like half a million dollars in a few hours. You gotta be kidding. Yeah. Well, where's my money? Where's Trump's got it? Well, we have your cut. My money? I they wanted to get you uh, this um, platinum presidential oh, watch very good. for oh, the wow. president. Oh, wow. Look at this. And that's all because you did so well even giving Donald Trump gifts. I mean, he's giving everybody gifts. Maybe he's just a good guy. He's just a good guy who gives gifts, dude. He just loves to give gifts. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like to give gifts too, but I don't know if I want to give that many. I don't want to give that many gifts out. I've just been clicking videos here. I don't even have all these videos prepared. They've just shown up. <laughs> that just goes to show you how many gifts he's given out. He's given out so many gifts that the videos just swarm and slather. They slather in your face like mayonnaise on a hot summer day. We have to ride this one out. I, I, I actually, have, I got claimed last time. I should probably stop it. <laughs> It's crazy I got claimed for that. Oh no, it was this. I got claimed for that. YouTube claimed me for that. They claimed me. And you know what else? I tried to log in my Instagram right before I started this fucking podcast episode today. And it said my account was suspended. And I said, what? What did I do? I didn't do anything. And then I logged it on my phone and it was fine. And then I logged in again on here and it was fine. Something fishy's afoot. Something fishy. I smell something fishy, dude. I, I just died in her arms tonight. I thought it was something you said. I should have walked away. 
I should have spread my legs. Do 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 I'm gonna soak up the sun. That was a good transition, wasn't it? I should be a DJ. I should be a DJ. Remember the last few episodes I was saying that I was hearing a, a constant staticky like drone in my headphones? I figured out what it was. It's Alexa. Alexa? How many suns are in the universe? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, there are approximately 200 billion trillion stars, also called suns, in the universe. I had her right next to my audio interface. And she, when I do that, oh, you can hear it. When I get close to it, it goes, you can't hear it, but I sure can. Isn't that fun? Isn't that weird? Isn't that funny? Hank Green? I need your scientific expertise. Why, when I put my Amazon Alexa next to my audio interface, it makes a droning, buzzing, humming noise in my headphones. I'm calling on you, Hank Green. Alexa, give me a big, wet, juicy fart. I'm not quite sure how to help you with that. Alexa, fart for me. Welcome to Big Fart. Would you like me to fart? Yes. That was a long and crispy one. Try asking me to fart 34 times in a row. Or say random. F fart 34 times in a row. Time for me to fart 34 times. Try asking me for an engine rumbler fart. <laughs> Or say random. <laughs> Give me an engine rumbler fart. Here comes an engine rumbler fart. <laughs> Try asking me to play Mr. Farts. Or say random. Play Mr. Farts. Now playing Mr. Farts. Reggae Farts. That's more than enough. Please stop. That was a tiny one. <laughs> Did Do you, you want me to fart? No! Alexa, stop! Okay. For more fun, try saying enable mini games. I remember that was an issue when I first got the Alexa. You'd play a game or you would do something weird with it. And then you'd be like, okay, st can you stop? And it would be like, do you want me to stop or do you want me to continue? And you're like, I would like you to stop. Okay, well, we will stop in the next 15 minutes. Let's keep her going. And they would keep talking and talking. And it was like, just stop. There's actually a, a dent in this thing. Because back when I had anger issues, don't anymore. Well, <sighs> try not to I try not to I took I ripped it out of the wall and I threw it as hard as I could at the wall it's plugged in so I ripped it out and I fucking yeeted it at the wall as hard as I could because it would not stop no matter how many times I said stop it kept going she kept going and she kept going and she kept going and I didn't like it and I got anger I had the anger inside of me and I threw that bitch against the wall harder than John Jones did his wife. 
John Jones beats his wife. Allegedly. You guys got any <laughs> bags of bird ham in here? We ran, ran out, out of bird, bird ham. ham. <laughs> you guys. You guys. You guys. You guys. You, you guys. You guys got. You guys got. Should we? Should we? Yeah, I think we should. You guys got any bags of bird ham? I bet you're wondering what bird ham is, aren't you? Oh, wouldn't you want to know? I'll never tell. I'll never tell. We got to switch subjects here. BB No Money, you know him. Of course you know him. If you're, if you're on the talk, he would go, ba 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 da You know that song? Um... He he put out a viral vidya to promote himself. He's a smart man. We all know he's a smart man. He knows how to market himself. He knows how to he knows how to cater to the trends, just like Jake Paul does, just like Logan Paul does, <sighs> just like all the other creators do. They find the trend and they replicate it, and they make it seem realistic. They make you think, oh. This is organic, but it's not, dude. It's not organic. It's fake. It's false. It's a facade. Just like this, okay? We all know for some reason Omegle made a comeback. I think it's gone now, but it had a little comeback. And so here's Baby No Money or BB, whatever the fuck his name is, on Omegle, or at least he's making it look like he's on Omegle, and he just happens to stumble upon a guy who's playing guitar, who is playing his song. And they pretend like it's the first interaction together. And uh, it's very well done. He's got the Omega logo. It's vertically fucking framed. All right. Everyone thinks, oh, it's a fucking randomly generated fucking camera fucking website. It's like, yeah. You think he can't replicate this? This is so easy to replicate. Of course, this is fake. He didn't just stumble upon a guy playing guitar, playing his song. Didn't happen. Hey, man, what are you... Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fred. Baby, no money. Oh, my God. Wait, were you playing La La La? I was. What the fuck? What's up, Crispy? <laughs> What's up, bro? Wait, play it. Rip it real quick. Rip it right now. Did I really just forget that melody? <laughs> no. Na, 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 na. When I popped off, they gave me just a little bit of a job. Good acting. It's good acting, and it's very smart. They did very well with this. I give them props, okay? If you're going to fake something, at least make it look really real. At least make it look really fucking real. And he did, the go he did a good job. He did a good job. All right. Now I commented. I said it's fake, but good. Fake, but good. Fake, but good. Just like I just said right now, it's fake, but it's good, baby. No money. Okay. Seriously, you did a good job faking it. Okay. And then this Walter fucker here, Walter Tar. Look at him. Take a good look at him. Let's open him up in, the, in a new page here. Walter, look at him. Look at this guy. Hello, guys. I'm going to be doing a setup tour. Don't care. Walter, no one cares, dude. But look at him. He says, give me the proof. Give me the proof. So I said, okay. Okay, Walter. You want the proof? I can prove it to you right now. Fucking now, Walter. It's so easy for me to prove it to you. All right? I'll prove it to you right fucking now. Here you 
There's your proof, Walter. Walter, there's your proof. There's your proof, Walter. Right fucking there. There's your proof, Walter. Right fucking there, dude. Huh? You wanted proof? There you go, Walty. Fucking read it and weep. Sniff that shit up. Fucking Walter. Looking for proof, dude. <laughs> Who do you think you are, huh? Who do you think you are, Walter? Stepping into my territory. Asking me for proof. This I brushed my teeth. Why does my tongue feel like a mix of static, TV static, and Oklahoma? What does that even mean, Walter? Nahui matematika. Get out of here, Walter. <sighs> but in all seriousness, it's probably not fake. It's probably not. I doubt it is. <sighs> it looked at it's probably real. But I, it wouldn't be that hard to fake it, dude. It wouldn't be that fucking hard, Walter. Come on, man. Other people in the comments are like, how is it staged on Omega? It's a randomized match site. Don't fucking talk to me, dude. Don't fucking talk to me, man. I didn't talk to you. <laughs> that's the last, that's the first and last time I'm ever going to interact with comments. Because you don't do it, dude. You post and ghost. Get out of there. Check this fucking guy out, dude. This guy's fucking awesome. I gotta mute. I gotta mute it though, cause it's got music. Watch this shit. Oh, dude, so fucking cool, man. Look how fucking cool this guy is. Look how proud he is. He's like, I've been fucking working on this for years, man. Oh, he's gonna do another one. Red Bull and an Xbox controller. Ooh, he's fucking. Here he goes. Oh, shit, dude. Damn. I wonder how many Xbox controllers he has broken practicing for this. Let's see this. Wow. This guy's legit, dude. This guy's legitness. Oh, oh, oh. I wonder if he meant to do that. I bet he did. He probably, he, he meant to fuck it up a little bit to make you think, oh, he's going to drop it, but no. He ain't dropping shit. He's got it, dude. He's got it. He's got it. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't touch each other, please. Little fucking rat. Sparshetti and meat souls. I want to oil you up. What the, what the fuck does that mean? You know what that means, Dana. My poopoo looks like angel hair pasta. Dana. I want to oil you up. Don't pretend like you don't know that what that means. Mr. Dana. Someone's calling your name. Hey, Dana. I want to oil you up. What the fuck? Sparshetti and meat souls. Someone's calling your name. Hey, Dana. I want to oil you up. He wants to oil me up. Hey, Dana. I want to oil you up. I want to oil you up. Hey, Dana. Don't touch each other, please. Little fucking rat. It's my new single. It's called Hey, Dana. Dana. Dana could be also a girl's name. I wonder if Dana is such a hard arse for that exact reason. Maybe he's like a boy named Sue growing up as a child. People, his, his the students at his school would make fun of him. They would say, you have a fucking girl's name, you little f And he would go, stop. Leave me alone. I'm going to buy the UFC one day and I will have all my fighters fight you. Don't touch each other, please. And they said, you're not going to amount to nothing because you got a girl's name. And look what happened. Oh, who's got a girl's name now, bitch? 
I'll tell you who's got a girl's name. Dan TDM. Who even is this guy? Huh? Who is this fart face? Dan TDM? What does that stand for? Too damn mom, 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 ugly. Um, I don't know. I seriously don't know who this guy is. Before we get into it, let me see. What does it say? What does it say? Who is this fart face? I make YouTube videos. Asher and Miles' dad? Wait, who's Asher and Miles? He has kids? Wait, what? Why is he putting his kid's name in his Twitter bio? Who's Asher and Miles? Well, obviously his kids, right? Uh, two guys in a gram? Hold on. How old is this Dan fella? His fucking profile picture is weird. I can't see. Dan TDM. Oh, yeah, okay. He's not even... How old is this guy? He's 32. All right, so this 32-year-old man, he's got a problem with Logan, KSI, and Mr. Beast for making Lunchly. <laughs> he's got a problem. He's got a problem with them. Dan, what's your problem, Dan? Huh? You got a problem with my boys? You got a problem with me? Huh? You want to go through them? You got to go through me. That didn't make sense. Listen. I like being healthy. Love it. I think it's great. I think it's the best thing we can do. All right? Love it. Love, love, love fruits. I love meat. Fresh meat. Proper meat. I like farm fresh eggs from chickens who free roam and eat bugs and seeds on the ground. All right, the eggs are nice and and and, and full of nutrients and protein and, and they're a dark orange. Unlike those pale yellow pieces of shit that you get at Walmart. Ugh. All right? I like I like I like proper cheese, not processed cheese. I like cheese straight from the cow. Whole milk straight from the tit. Goat milk. Squirt that right down my throat. Okay? I love being healthy. It's the best thing you could ever do for your life. You understand? Okay? But Dan... Dan... Dan thinks that Lunchly... And for those of you who don't know, Lunchly is Mr. Beast slash Logan Paul slash KSI's new competitor to Lunchables. Okay, they created their own brand uh, competitor to Lunchables called Lunchly. Okay, they created And in their advertisement, they said it is healthier. They said it is healthier than Lunchables. Okay. They said it is healthier than Lunchables. That is not them saying that Lunchly is a health food product. They're simply saying it is a healthier option than the competitor. Whenever Logan, KSI, Mr. Beast, or anyone who has legitimate credit, credibility, and lots of money... Whenever those people do something, whenever they create a new product, whenever they create a new brand, whenever they partner with someone to try to sell something, there's always the YouTubers who come in and have to shit on them. YouTubers are not. Anyone will come in and they'll shit on them. And especially when it's Logan Paul. Especially when it's Logan Paul. Every single time he does, when he did it with Just Prime, when he did it with the Lunchly, when he did it with the boxing, whatever the fuck he has, whatever he does, they shit on him. Why, why do you care 
about Lunchly. What the fuck is the big deal about Lunchly? You, you're mad because you're saying it's... This is the tweet here. Why don't we read the tweet? He says, what happened to YouTubers, man? Dot, dot, dot. I can't say nothing. Wait, that does not. that's not what it says. I cannot... I can't not say anything anymore. Well, go ahead. Speak your mind, brother. It's a free country. This is selling stuff for the sake of making money. Simple. How does this benefit their fans? This is selling crap to kids who don't know better than to trust the people who are selling it to them. Do better. (laughs) Ah... Again, like I said, I like being healthy. I like being healthy. In no way are they promoting this as like a health food product. Yes, they're selling it to make money. Why the fuck else would they sell it? Okay? They're not taking advantage of anyone. They're not taking advantage of kids. They made a product. They made a competitor to Lunchables. No one's even arguing that Lunchables are healthy. Lunchables are fucking the worst. They're, they're terrible for you. So they made a Lunchable that's healthier than the Lunchable. Sure, it's not the best fucking thing you can get, but it's healthier than the Lunchable. And you're shitting on the Lunchly? Why don't you shit on the Lunchable? Like, what? come on, guy. Can these guys not do anything without getting shit on? You do better, Dan. Fuck you, Dan. Who the fuck are you, Dan? What do you know, Dan? You don't know anything, bro. Here's the lunch lease. Look at them. There's a turkey stackums. Look how nice that is. It comes with a feast, a, a, a Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate and a prime. Dude, that's such like, imagine, imagine you're Mr. Beast and imagine you're Logan Paul and KSI. You guys already have a lineup of like food and beverage products. You're both very successful, famous YouTubers already. Uh, Why the fuck wouldn't you create this product? This is such a smart idea. This is like the smartest fucking idea that they could have ever done. Of course they should have done this. Of course. This makes so much sense. Why wouldn't they do this? They have the food already. All they need to add is the crackers and the fucking meat and cheese. All right, they got this. Then there's a nachos one. And then there's a pizza one. Huh? It's beautiful. How, like, how fucking great is this? And yeah, Dan. Yeah. It's not healthy. Okay? But it's healthier than the alternative. And no one's force-feeding children to eat this, okay? They know better. Their parents know better, all right? There are so many products, so many food products on the market that are infinitely, infinitely times worse than this. Anything. And you act like the product ingredients are not available on the package, they, the, it's, the information is there. It's readily available for people to read and decide for themselves if they want to purchase it. You act like this is like a force-fed situation. It's free choice, dude. If you don't want it, don't fucking buy it then, Dan. All right? Leave the guys alone, okay? They're just fucking leveling up dude seriously when i saw this i was like oh my god this is so smart it's such a good fucking idea dude seriously they always have good ideas you cannot deny that logan paul ksi and fucking mr beast have the best fucking ideas dude and they have the capability to make these ideas become reality So let it happen. Let it happen. And I want to watch this video here. (sighs) Lunchly. uh, Can I find it? I don't even know. I should have had it ready to go. Um, 
Um, um, yeah, look, all these videos. My thoughts on Lunchly. Lunchly is worse than we thought. Was Lunchly made by scammers? Lunchly exposed. Fuck off, all you guys. I just, there was a video. Why didn't I have it? Why didn't I have it? Is this it? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. So this is a comparison of the ingredients and uh, nutrients and whatnot within the product. And yes, I know it's the creators doing it, but... You know, they're not lying to us. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Wait, Prime has no wait, 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 let me refresh this. Fuck. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch bar. Whoa. Feastables Crunch yeah! Bar. Yeah! Our pizza uses real cheese. Theirs, as it says on their box, yeah. is mozzarella pasteurized prepared cheese product. Mm. They can't even call it real cheese. Ooh. We're also 30 less calories, three less grams of fat, and eight less grams of sugar. Turkey, Turkey stack, stack them. 310 calories. 230 calories. 21 grams of sugar. Only seven grams of sugar. If you look at this close up, you can already tell which one has better ingredients. All right, we'll start off with the Lunchables. Bro, I'm sorry, that's trash. All right, now we're trying Lunchly. Come on. We're not biased at all, but ours is way better. <laughs> Fiesta nachos. 22 grams of sugar. 10 grams of sugar. 7 grams of protein. 9 grams of protein. Come in close and look at the queso cheese in Lunchly versus whatever that is. Oh, Drip gosh. versus stick. I like my cheese drippy, bro. This is a Lunchly salsa right here. Look at the consistency, the texture. And this is Lunchables. This, hey, look, it's watery. It's, I can't even look at that. With 400 milligrams of electrolytes, my God. And it's available for around $4. Oh. Super affordable. Let's go give oh it a try. Oh, my God. Lunchly versus Lunchables. Four dollars is crazy cheap. Um, you know they did. They, they're smart when they did this. You know they didn't eat. They they mentioned the chocolate, but they didn't say what the difference was between the Feastables chocolate and the Crunch Bar chocolate. But whatever. Again, again, it's not about people. Just they always got to rip on these guys, and you got to give Logan and them credit because. They take so much shit. They take so much shit. I love these guys. I do. Everyone hates on them constantly. They shit on them over and over again. It's like, fuck, I don't give a fuck, okay? I like them. I like them all. I think they're great fucking guys. Especially Logan. He gets the most shit out of all these guys. And he's the one that I like the best. Yeah, Logan. You're a great guy. <laughs> Thank you for making lunch, Lee. Thank you. I, I appreciate you. And if it ever comes to Canada, I will review it. If it comes to Canada, which I hope it does, I will buy a Lunchly and I will buy a Lunchable and I will compare the two and I will give an honest review on what I think tastes better. Yeah, because I actually like Lunchables. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Especially the cheese and cracker one. But I like the bologna. I never get the turkey. I like the bologna. Fuck, I'm craving one right now. I could fucking swallow one easily right now. Easily. What's going on with my glasses? You ever just get a hair floating in your face and you can't figure out where it's coming from? <laughs> we bring the boom. You remember that picture that we... Got. We bring the boom! That's what we do. We bring the boom. We bring the boom to you. We bring the boom. We bring the boom to everyone. We bring the boom. Your favorite father and son. Every afternoon on your FYP. We'll be bringing the boom around the quarter past three. We bring the boom so loud the whole earth shakes. With double chunk chocolate cookies. 
there you go. You listened to the whole thing. Be proud of yourself. You better not have skipped that. You better. You better not have skipped that. You better have listened to that whole fucking thing. Big Justice and AJ deserve it. All right? And I'm not going to lie. I like AJ's moves. I don't know what it is about him. He's just got that muscly build. With double chunk chocolate cookies and chicken. It seems it's stiff, but at the same time, it's just I don't know, dude. He's got good moves. Maybe it's because he's a wrestler. Did you know he's a wrestler? He was a pro wrestler, like the WWE kind, but not WWE like underneath it. And when he was interviewed, they were like, "If you had the opportunity to go to the WWE, would you?" And he was like. Eh. Nah, I'd probably just stick to what I like. And I'd probably just stick to this. Ha <laughs> He's so full of shit. He is so full of shit, dude. If he had the opportunity to go to the WW, he'd go. I think he'd fit in right now, to be honest. I think Logan Paul could get him in. And he would he wow well, dude, he would fucking kill it. You know? <laughs> His move would be the double chunk chocolate cookie. He'd just bring it into the ring and smack it in your face or something. I'm about to give you the double chunk chocolate cookie. That's his move, boy. Uh, Do I have another video? I have lots. Well, I don't have lots, actually. I have, I have some... Let's see. Oh, actually, we got to talk about these boys. There is... What should I start with? There's so many. I guess we'll start with this one. There is a mobile care, like, cell phone store in St. John. I believe Newfoundland. Whoops. I guess I'm following them now. I clicked follow by accident. It's got to be Newfoundland. Well, there's St. No, no, New Brunswick. St. John, New Brunswick. Okay, that's in Canada. And these boys. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going on in St. John. But they have multiple videos of these, like, teenage fucking boys reviewing their products. But there's something fucking going on. There's something in the water. Because this doesn't seem right. I just bought myself this phone case, great phone case, matches my hoodie, love it, thank you mobile care. (laughs) Thank you mobile care. (laughs) Like what? There's more, there's more. Look at that, no cracks, great phone man, come down to mobile care and get you shit. Thank you, Mobile Care. Yes, sir. Give the best prices in the town. Come visit McAllister Place, St. John. Thank you, Mobile Care. Thank you, Mobile Care. Like, what's going on? Why are they all talking like this? What are they doing? They're trying to be like gangsters or some shit? What's going on here? This is New Brunswick. Is this like... Is this everywhere? Are all the kids talking like this now? Or is this just like a New Brunswick thing? Like, why? Why Why? Why are they acting all like like this guy here? This is them. Are they retarded? Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Give, Give the best here. prices yes, in the town. Give the best prices in the town? Like, what even is that accent? Come visit McAllister Place, St. John. I don't know what's going on, dude. Look at that. No cracks. Great phone, man. Come- Great phone, man. Not a mobile care. Get you shit. Get you shit. Get you shit, boy. I just bought myself this phone case. Great phone case. Matches my hoodie. Look, look at this guy. Love what's it. going on here? Thank you, mobile what's care. What's going on Thank here? You. What are you... What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Like, who does it? Who do these kids think they are, huh? They think they're Drake or something? What's going on? Get him out of there! 
Good marketing. I'll give them that. All right? Great marketing. But if I was a teacher and this was what my students were doing, I would shoot myself. I'd bring a gun to the school and I would shoot myself. Okay? I wouldn't even bother with the students. I'd put it in my mouth and say, bye-bye. Because this is not appropriate. And I feel bad for their parents. Oh. Their parents, dude. There's no way they approve of this behavior. Thank you, Thank mobile, you mobile care. Thank you, mobile care. care. Yes, sir. We Give the best care. prices yes, in the town. Give the best prices in the town? It's not even an accent I've ever heard before. We've been down this accent road before. Remember with uh, Wagwan Delilah? Where is it? Where's Wagwan? It's hidden on me. Oh, it should be here somewhere. Wagwan Delilah. Right? Canada's just getting all these fucked up accents all over every province now. There's the hockey kid Alberta accent. There's the fucking St. John's New Brunswick accent. There's the Toronto accent. You know, there used to just be like the Newfoundland accent, the French accent, and then everything else was kind of just like normal. But not anymore. This one's by far the worst. This is worse than the Toronto accent. Look at that. No cracks. Great phone, man. Look at that. It's 1700. I don't like it. I don't like it. Come visit McAllister Place, St. John. Thank you, Thank mobile, you mobile, care. mobile care. Thank you, Mobile Care. Yes, sir. We Give the best care. prices yes, in the town. And I mean, the, the way that they're dressed, too. Like, it's. We got to move on. I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted. I'd much rather see this shit in St. John's, Newfoundland than any of that. I swear to God. I'd take. I would take this. Any day over all that. And bridges. A drunk Jewish fucking what do you call it? Hasidic Jew? Trying to get some locks and bagels. Go get it. You better give me the car. Go get it. You better give me the car. I'm gonna get it. Go get it. I'm going to get it without the car. Go get it. How am I going to get it without the car? Go get it. You got paperwork, right? Go get it. You got paperwork? Yeah. Go get it. I got paperwork. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. I got paperwork. Go get it. It's way better, dude. Oh, that's nice and refreshing. I don't even remember what this is. Yeah. How was your morning? It was really good. That's good. Because tonight it's gonna make it worth your wild. Oh. Hey, babe. Ugh. Ugh. What's he saying? Like sex? Is that what he's talking about? No thanks. A shout out to Domino's Pizza. Let's go! Woohoo! 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 Woo Let's go! This is a shout out! <laughs> Yo, these guys know what's up, dude. These these oh, these guys know what's up. Are these guys from St. John's, Newfoundland, or fucking New Brunswick as well? The best, the the best when when you get these kind of clips of guys like this. You know what I'm talking about, guys like this. And oh, then to Domino's Pizza. The video Let's ends. Go. Woo <laughs> that is just a second of him trying to like pause the camera because what he probably did is he paused it and then he hit record again and now he's trying to hit pause for the second time <sighs> just the boys drinking some fucking sodies and having some dominies how much you want to bet that they're playing dungeons and dragons or some shit or they're probably they probably they're probably they're not smart enough for that. They're playing. This is a shout out to Domino's Pizza. I shouldn't be rude. That's very rude for me to say. They're probably playing a video game. They're probably having the fucking time of their life. I bet that's like a. They're probably having so much fucking fun. Good for them. I like these guys. I'm proud of these guys. 
way prouder of those guys than these guys by far and we got one final clip oh 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 hang on i can use with my left hand hold on. let's let this restart when i'm alone hold on what's going on here stick in my nightstand i can't okay this is uh, instagram get your shit together okay I have to be extremely quick if I want to hear what happens in the first second of the video. Because there's no pause or play button, and if I refresh, the video's muted. The video's muted. So, you have to wait till the end of the video till it restarts before you can hear the beginning. And you know what? That's bullshit. That's a pile of horse turds. So maybe from now on, I'll just download the videos. Which I really don't want to because that takes up all space. Takes up space. And then I got to delete them afterwards. <laughs> Instagram. If it takes, take, a word, take some advice. Take a little word of advice from, from, a, from the master here, okay? Put a pause and play button. Put a little scrub bar. How hard is that? Huh? Don't. You, you, you can keep it simplified. I know you like the simplification of it. All right? It's good to be simple. But just put a pause and play button. Just put a pause and play button in a little scrub bar, huh? You don't even need, we don't even need to control the volume, nothing. Because this is horse shit, okay? This is horse pucky. If I'm on the cellular device, I can scroll up and down real quick and it stays unmuted. So why can't we do that on the, on the, on the, on the PC, huh? All right, because when guys like myself try to do a little podcast, we're not using a cell phone. We're using a computer. So get with it. Mark Zuckerberg, I know you own this shit, so fix it. Do we got anything else to talk about? I seriously don't think so. Oh, actually, there is one other thing. We'll end on this. There is a fight this weekend, UFC, but it's a fight night. Benoit Saint Denis, which I'm kinda, I kinda want to watch, but I don't know if I will. But the next weekend, ah, we've got uh, Roundtree and Pereira, right? Yeah, I think that's the one. Hell yeah, I am stoked for that. And honestly, I would recommend you fuckers. You fucking piece of shit. All of you. I just scratched the shit out of my dick and you didn't even know. I recommend all of you go check out the round, the Khalil Roundtree episode uh, uh, he did with Rogan. I'm going to, I'm going to burp. <laughs> because he goes into a deep, dark detail about how he was almost suspended from the UFC for fucking a little bit of uh, supplements that he took not even on purpose it's a good episode I recommend it but anyway um, what the fuck's this guy's name why, why am I forgetting his name Colby Covington Colby Covington the 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 the, the Ah, uh, well, how would you describe him? UFC fighter, obviously. But he's the one that nobody really likes. He's the one that people, when they see him, they're like, you suck, dude, no matter where he is. Everybody hates him. Even Trump, you know? When he fought whoever it was last time, I can't even remember, he tried to shake Donald Trump's hand, and Trump was like, I don't want anything to do with you. Get away from me. So anyway, him and Lil Pump did a little uh, live stream on Kick. And Colby got Lil Pump to the ground and he put him in a choke hold. And Lil Pump, Lil Pump tried to, well, he did tap multiple, multiple, multiple times. Multiple, multiple, multiple times. But Colby Covington never let up. Now, I imagine before all this happened, they had a little discussion and a little agreement where Pump was like, I'm going to tap, but just don't let go, okay? We just, we want views. 
we want to make this look cool. We want to make this. We want to. We want. We want to. You know, be successful for our audience. We want. We want to give them a fucking show. So no matter how much I tap, I want you to just put me out. That might have happened, but the internet. You know, they're mad either way, which rightfully so. If that didn't happen and Lil Pump genuinely did ta- tap, and Kobe decided not to let go on his own terms, that's really bad. Seriously, that's really bad. That is not something you should ever do. That goes against everything that's involved with the world of Jew Jesu. You don't do that. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. He's even tapping his leg, too. Tapping, tapping all over the place. Man, he's fucking got a lock on him. He's tapping still. He's still tapping. And he's out. Oh. Look at his eyes, bro. What do you mean, look at his he's eyes? Out. Look at his eyes. Holy. Breathe. Breathe. See that whole interaction there where he's like, look at his eyes, bro. Breathe. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes, bro. He's out. Acting like he's never made someone go unconscious before. Shut up, Kobe. You just gave everyone more of a reason not to like you. Who do you think you are, huh? Who do you think you are, Kobe Covington or something? <laughs> do you feel that? Do you feel that? Little pump don't feel it. <laughs> Well, I'm getting pretty hungry. <laughs> kind of. Not really. But a little bit. I could eat. I could eat. I could fuck around. I could eat. Um, so be, so I guess uh, we'll end it here, guy. Huh, Gregory? Here comes the magical words. Are you ready? That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got your rock and ready rock and roll socks on. And please like, comment, subscribe, hit bell. Uh, there's only four. Do that. Just do it all right now. Okay? Don't even finish this video. Do it right now. Bye. 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 Bye.